Welcome to our online Christmas Eve service. On behalf of all the pastors and staff here at New Life, we want to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas. We're looking forward to being with you in 2022 and all that God has in store for us as a church. Well, we have a very special service for you today. Uh, many people are going to be uh, taking part in the service. We have special music and worship and a number of families sharing their Christmas traditions. I know for me and my family, uh, Christmas Eve service is definitely a tradition in our family. And so we hope that you will enjoy this very special service today. And we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas.
foundations of the earth and sky You saw it all and said that it was good The joy was set before your eyes You knew that you would give your life You saw it all and said that it was
Christmas tree and place our favorite topper. Oh, we also place our presents under the tree. We make a gingerbread house the day before Christmas. We attend candlelight service on the Christmas Eve. And on the Christmas Day, we wish each other a Merry Christmas with, with a big hug. We sing Christmas carols next to our fireplace. We kids prepare a special presentation for the family every year. After the special presentation, we open up our presents. Then we have a special lunch. And yummy desserts. With our family and friends. After lunch, we watch a movie as a family or play a family game. We end the day with a nice warm cup of hot chocolate with marshmallows. Christmas is all about Jesus. Jesus. That is why it is so much fun and exciting. We look forward to Christmas every year. Merry Christmas!
Christmas time is a special time for many families. There's lots of traditions that lots of families like to do. There are some things that we do together as a family to celebrate that might be different from other families. Some things that we do are... Stay in pajamas all day for Christmas. And we always get a Christmas ornament. And for breakfast we always eat muffins. Although we try to get together with as many um, family and friends as we can, Christmas Day is reserved for our family. Something else that we like to do to spread joy is send a Christmas card with our family's photo and a personalized letter of things that we have done in our lives over the, uh, the past year. Uh, we send this to family and friends so that they can see what has happened in our lives. We look forward to spending time together as a family and with those that we love this Christmas and making more memories and traditions.
Um, for us, we come from uh, Kenya and we lived in Nairobi. Uh, mm. So for me, my family, whenever it was Christmas time, we would travel out of Nairobi back to our ancestral uh, land, you know, like maybe, um, maybe two hours out of Nairobi to see our grandparents and stuff like that. Uh, for David, it was a little bit different. Uh, for you, how was it? For, for us, uh, we grew up in Nairobi and uh, my parents lived in Nairobi. So for us, it was nearly the traditional American Christmas. Uh, so for us, when we did get married, we kind of uh, tweaked the tradition a little bit. Um, so we would, whenever it's Christmas time, we'd pretty much travel maybe out of town, to a, a new city, sometimes out of the country, uh, just to experiment and to, you know, just discover somewhere new. So that's typically what we have done over our Christmases. And even when we moved to Canada, that's the same thing we would do, perhaps like on Christmas night. <laughs> I know a bit too crazy, but on Christmas, Christmas Eve, Eve yes. like the 24th, uh, we would... Uh, travel. Travel. Travel, travel. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I remember going to Florida, mm -hmm. and also I remember first the Kenya experience, mm -hmm. where we used to travel out of town mm -hmm. and uh, go to the coastal region of Mombasa mm -hmm. and have some nice hotels there. Mm -hmm. I also remember coming here mm -hmm. and traveling to more America. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we'll go to Washington, Mm -hmm. visiting some friends mm -hmm. or we'll go to uh, Florida mm -hmm. uh, and they spend some time with the warmer climate mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah but after we've had Zuri we've not really been able to travel <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for, for many reasons so yeah. we've had a traditional dinner but not on Christmas Eve mm -hmm. on Christmas Day so yeah. I've tried to make a turkey, yeah. Karea has tried to make all the condiments we've tried to invite friends over yeah. and that's how our Christmas is I absolutely love Christmas. I love everything about it. I love the lights and the decorations and the Christmas carols sung. I remember as a child going Christmas caroling door to door and just to watch the smiles on people's faces. I even like the hustle and bustle of it because it brings so much excitement. I guess that's the child in me. I remember as a child growing up and could hardly wait to come running out of my bedroom in the morning and to see my stocking overflowing with gifts. And my husband does not disappoint. We still fill stockings for each other. Then we have our traditional breakfast and it's time to open the presents. But before we open the presents, we always take time to read from Luke, the Christmas story. Because you see, it's all about the greatest gift of all that God gave to us when he gave his son. And that's why we give gifts to each other, because God so loved that he gave, and so we give gifts of love. But I love Christmas Eve. It's a time to come back and just kind of breathe and to really reflect in quietness of what God has done. Several years ago, I received a very precious gift. It's a one-of-a-kind gift. There isn't another one like it in the world exactly like it and it came in this beautiful red velvet box inside that red velvet box was this ornament this ornament is made of glass and what makes it unique is that the artist had a picture in his mind of how he wanted the picture to look and so he decided he was going to paint inside this ornament the story of christmas Sometimes it took the artist several days to paint this picture. Some of the brush strokes that he used are so fine that the brush was the width of a hair, a human hair. And he put the brush through the top of the hole of the top of the ornament and painted the picture that he saw in his mind. As I take out this ornament every year and I look at it and I, I admire the uniqueness of it and the story that it tells, I can't help but go back to the songs when he, he said that I am knit together in my mother's womb. That before God created the heavens and the earth, before it started, he knew who you were and he called you by name. Did you know he gave you your name? The same as he said to Mary, you shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. 
God has a picture that he has designed just in you. Nobody else can fill that picture, just you. One year as I was overjoyed to have all of my grandkids visiting with me, we were singing and dancing and laughing and just enjoying each other to the absolute full. And all of a sudden I heard a crash. Then the silence. At that same moment, I looked over and I saw my grandson standing there, his eyes filled with tears and the words, I'm sorry, Nana. Without hesitation, I fell to my knees in front of him. And I said, buddy, this no way changes the way I feel about you. This was an accident. You are more precious to me than an ornament. I love you. And then very carefully we swept up all the pieces of the ornament and went on with our Christmas. When Christmas was over, I had put all the, the decorations and everything away and here was this pile of broken pieces still there. And I thought, what am I going to do with it? I really don't feel I can throw it out. It's still valuable to me. So I thought painstakingly, I would try to glue it back together, piece by piece. Some of the pieces very, very tiny, but I did. I accomplished it, and this is the ornament. It's glued together. It's recreated. It's made new. You see, it does have cracks and it does have chips. But to me, when I set it out every Christmas, to me, that makes it more valuable. Because I knew what it cost to have it there. I knew of a little boy that would forever remember that he was more valuable than an ornament. Do you know, you and I have been created in God's image. He has taken his paintbrush of creativity and he has created you unique. There's no one else on the world like you, but stuff happens in our lives. Stuff happens and chips and cracks us and breaks us. And sometimes we think we've lost our value or our importance. But God says, no, I have called you. You are more precious to me than anything. And so lovingly, he takes those cracks and those chips and he recreates. And the shining of the ornament still shines through you if you'll allow him to. You cannot allow that to identify you for who you are. Identify yourself as something pure and precious and valuable and unique and one of a kind, you are his. You see, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son to die for you. I just want to declare to you that you are a person of value. That you are so valuable to him that Jesus came and gave the most for you. He didn't cut corners. He gave his all for you to say to you that you are of value to him. The artist's image is still being painted in your life. And it will shine through if you will allow him to. But the choice is yours. You know, the angel came to Mary and as a teenage girl, she never thought it was going to be like this. And told her that she would bear a child. And yes, she had questions. Yes, she had all kinds of things going around in her mind. But the fact is, she still come back and said, yes. Yes, I will allow this to happen to me in spite of the questions, in spite of the abuse and the mocking I'm going to go through, in spite of all of the pain that I'm going to go through carrying the Son of God, I'll still say yes. And so I just invite you at this Christmas season to say yes. I don't understand it. I don't know what's brought me to this point. But just as this ornament, with all the cracks and the chips, 
I am still of value to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let me pray with you, please. Father, I thank you for everyone that's within the sound of my voice today. Everyone sitting in their homes, perhaps in front of a Christmas tree, and there's family members around them, but there's also those who who have no one and they are alone. But Father, I just pray that you would speak truth to them right now, that you would let them know that they are people of value, that you care enough about them, that what the world sees is not who they really are, but that they are a child of the Most High God. And I pray, Father, that you would just have your way in their hearts this Christmas, that they will turn to you and they will say yes. Yes, Lord. Be my Lord. Be my King. Be my Savior. And Father, thank you. And we will give you all of the praise and all of the honor and all of the glory. You alone are worthy. In Jesus' name, amen. Merry Christmas.